This is my Mustang Mach 1 with the handling package. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the top five things that make this car unique and special. You might be thinking, this is just another Mustang with bolt-on parts, but in today's video, we're gonna go through everything that makes it unique and different from the regular Mustang GT. Let's just do a quick walk around, and then we're gonna talk about each individual thing on the outside of the vehicle that makes it unique to this Mustang Mach 1, and then specifically to the Mustang Mach 1 with the handling package. This bumper is completely unique for the Mustang Mach 1. As you can see, it does have these holders where you can put your own fog lights it does have these openings in the grill those are actually functional and for the engine and transmission oil coolers they also allow air to go through and on the back side of this inside the fender well there's vents for cooling the brakes now if you have a handling package car it does come with this front splitter which provides 150 pounds of downforce on the front end so the arrow is very functional and these scoops are functional as well you do have Mach 1 vinyl on the vehicle as you can see the side stripe on the running boards and on the hood and the special badging on the fender as we go around the favorite part of this car for everyone is these wheels these are unique only to the handling package vehicles 19 by 10 and a half 19 by 11 handling package cars came with cup 2 tires 305 30s 315 30s 19 inch wheels and let's take a look at those wheels beautiful wheels beautiful beautiful also another thing handling package cars came with this fender trim for the front so that the cup two cars do not sling the rocks if you have a handling package car and you do not have these fender trim watch the video above i'll show you how to get those locate them and install them also unique to the handling package is this piece here some vehicles didn't come with it on one side this is off the gt500 i just ordered mine i will show the parts number in the description as well and here's the rear wheel and you can see how beautiful that is this is the rear wing. It came right off the GT500 and it does have a gurney flap that is removable. You can remove these bolts if you'd like more gas mileage or if you're not at the track and it will provide a little bit more gas mileage, but honestly, it makes it look so good, I just leave it on. Another thing that makes the Mach 1 different, aside from that lovely wing, which I think just makes and breaks the vehicle, you have the Mach 1 badging on the rear and this GT500 rear diffuser which does have functionality. It has a belly pan that goes underneath the car and scoops air up through these vents, which are for the rear differential cooler. Also, we have an active exhaust, which is four and a half inch dual tips on each side, which I think makes or breaks the car as well. As you can peep in there, you see the rear differential cooler, the fins on that cooler. And underneath we have this belly pan, which scoops the air up and shoves it into that rear differential cooler. Unique to the Mach 1 is a Mach 1 plaque with your individual chassis number, making the car feel even more unique and special for the owner. Stepping into the car, you do have the Mach 1 running board, just letting you know you're in a Mach 1. Other than that, it's not placed much else aside from the startup on the dash on the inside of the vehicle. It's not on the headrest. It's not in the center console. It's actually not even on the steering wheel. One of my favorite things about the Mustang Mach 1 with the handling package is the suspension. For the handling package, it does have different springs, rear sway bar, and a different tune for the suspension so that it is adjusted for the Cup 2 tires and the spring so that you get a better track performance and ride. It does feel much more sporty. And you do have those adjustable camber plates if you did get the handling package. So all around, it is a totally different car than the non-handling package cars, and it drives so much different. So if you you watch the reviews where people reviewed the vehicle without the handling package you can't compare the two another thing that makes this mustang mach 1 unique is the transmission the automatic transmission is actually a different tune than the gt so it's specifically tuned for the mach 1 it is a sport tune and you can definitely tell the difference it makes this car so fun to drive the other thing is the manual transmission is not the mt82 which came with the other gts they actually use a Tremec like they do in the GT350 and GT350R, making the manual transmission way more fun to drive and more reliable. This is the Mustang Mach 1 engine. What makes it unique to the Mustang GT engine, you have a GT350 filter, intake tube, throttle body, and intake manifold, and then a Ford Performance tune to make all this work together. So this produces 480 horsepower, where the regular GT only produces 460. So the red line on the Mach 1 is actually 7,500. So you get more rev range, which means this is better suited for the track. So the handling package 
with these pieces just make this car very unique very very fun to drive another bragging right for the mach 1 owners is that this car actually laps vir racetrack 0.4 seconds faster than the gt350 r despite having 40 horsepower less the gt350 r is three miles an hour faster through the s's but this still is half a second faster total lap time and that was with the manual transmission not including the 10-speed automatic which is actually probably faster than the manual Do you understand why the Mach 1 with the handling package is different? Tow hook, adjustable camber plates, engine and oil coolers through the front bumper that are functional, splitter, 150 pounds of downforce, cup two tires. It's a different vehicle. It's made for the track, but it is still the most fun daily driver. Now for the best part about the Mach 1 is driving it. Because if it looks good and sounds good, what good is it if it doesn't drive good? The 2015 that I had didn't drive good compared to this car. This car drives amazing. I can't stop driving this car. I just wanna drive it everywhere. Important thing, put the shifter down into S if you want it to shift more firm, more fun, and be more responsive with your throttle inputs. It increases the throttle sensitivity so much that you need to drive this in S or you're not gonna have fun with this vehicle or any other 10-speed automatic transmission in the Mustang. Now, first thing first, when you're pulling out of the driveway, this splitter is about four inches off the ground, so you're gonna need to cut the wheel to get out of the driveway, or you'll be buying a $500 front splitter. Setting off, it goes from first gear to third, which is pretty normal for fuel economy. Even though it is in sport mode, unless you press on the accelerator hard, then it will go through the gears. It's in sport because this is down into sport. If you have it in drive, everything is normal. Normal suspension, steering, and exhaust. But we're gonna go sport. So sport, normal exhaust, normal steering, normal dampers. Okay, what that does is increase throttle sensitivity and make the transmission shift way better and it's way more fun. If you were to drive a regular GT and jump into this, you would immediately notice the difference. It is way more firm. As you turn the steering wheel, you can just immediately tell. The Magna ride on this car is incredible and it's specifically tuned for this car with the Cup 2 tires, which make it even more racetrack. There's literally no place to test drive this car and push it to the limits legally on public roads. If it's as fast as a GT350R around a racetrack, then you obviously understand that this is essentially a race car and street clothing, and you can't push those Cup 2 tires to their limits on public roads without risking yourself and a major ticket. So, it's hard to display how fun this car is. If you've driven a Mach 1, but you haven't driven the handling package, then you don't know, you will, they're two totally different cars. The GT is one thing, the PP2 is one thing, the PP1 is one thing, but as soon as you go to the Magna Ride cars with the Cup 2 tires, like the Mach 1 with the handling package or the GT350R, those are two different cars. The GT500 with the handling package, track package, carbon wheels that's a different car you can't compare these two i'm just going to put it in track mode and do a light acceleration just so you guys can hear but there's no way that i can actually test this car out on these public roads obviously i'm going to manually shift it just so you can hear the gears a bit better like i said the cops here are really bad so that's all i'm going to be able to do it's like a 50 mile an hour speed limit here. But this car is just amazing. It's the most fun car I've ever driven. It's completely responsive. If you really want, if you're in the turns, you really want it to feel good, click all the way up to Sport Plus. The dampers are in Sport. It feels even better going through the turns. The exhaust is in Sport. It's just an all around just awesome car to drive. It is totally unique to the Mustang lineup. It's not a 350R with the high revving engine with no torque. It's actually, nice Mustang there. It's unique. It's not a 350, it's not a GT500, and I actually prefer the 10-speed automatic because it goes through more gears. It's more fun to drive than the DCT, the digital dash, the active suspension, which you can change, the 10-speed automatic that was sport-tuned, that is still fun to drive even though it's an automatic. The wheels were my favorite wheels that I've ever seen on a Mustang. 
the body, the aerodynamics are completely unique for this car and totally special to this car. And I love the way that they look on this car. I think it's the best looking Mustang they've ever made. All around, one of my favorite cars that I've ever driven or owned. And you gotta love that exhaust and the way it shifts through those gears. That's just partial throttle and it's just popping through the gears and it just, it lunches for, it's just so much fun to drive, honestly, guys. This is my favorite Mustang. It is the perfect daily driver. Such a fun car to drive. If you're new to this channel, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to turn the bell notification on so you get notifications. And I will catch you in the next video.